for the Chicago Bulls. This is their first ever appearance in the finals of this, their silver anniversary season. For the Los Angeles Lakers, it is their ninth trip to the championship round in the last 12 years. A remarkable accomplishment. The officials, Hugh Evans, Jack Madden, and Hugh Hollins, and we're set for the start of game one of the NBA championship series. The Chicago Bulls finishing 61 and 21, winning the uh, Central Division and whipping right through the playoffs. The LA Lakers 58 and 24 in the regular season, second of the Pacific, and then they were able to knock off the Portland Trailblazers in six, wrapping up that series in Los Angeles this past Thursday. Lottie Devots, Bill Cartwright, and the opening tip controlled by the L.A. Lakers as Magic Johnson moves across against Michael Jordan. Perkins being played by Cartwright. Up the foul. Both teams trying to establish an inside game immediately, according to what their coaches told us yesterday. Perkins down low. We'll see this a number of times, trying to get the ball down into Sam. He reads the defense before he makes his offensive move. And now Magic posting and got it out for Worthy, who beat Pippen. And at least on that move, the ankle looked fine. Lakers with a 2 0 lead. In fact, as we saw the last game against Portland, he was not able to make that move from the top of the circle off the dribble. He either caught it in shot or he reversed the ball. Good sign for the Lakers right there. James putting it on the floor. Here's Pippen, and he's hit on the reach in. The first look was to Bill Cartwright as the Bulls try to get Cartwright involved early, but he did not have the shot. And he whipped it right back outside. The foul was called on Worthy. All the moves that have been planned out for the chess match will see unfold as the game goes on. Each team going down low initially, trying to get their centers off. On the other side, trying to put fouls on the opposing center to put him on the bench. For Scotty Pippen, this has been a breakthrough season. He has emerged. As an NBA All-Star, he has averaged 22 per game and the playoffs came up particularly big against the Detroit Pistons and he's been shooting 53% from the floor. And Magic had it deflected out by Grant. It will be Laker ball. Immediately we'll see Chicago extend its defense and watch for the man on the ball, Grant, to go and double team occasionally particularly if it's magic handling to try and get it out of his hands. And it's Vladi Divac who does handle the ball well for a big man providing the help. And from time to time we'll see Phil Jackson use what he calls escort pressure. Divac to the left hand hook to give the Lakers a 4-1 lead. I don't know if I've seen Vladi use that one personally this season but he was saving it for the right time. gone by. Now Scott on Jordan. Here's Cartwright. Yes. Lakers four. The Bulls three. Keep an eye on Michael Jordan as he guards Magic his hands. He's gotten a number of deflections this season against Magic in the two matchups. He anticipates the pass. And Worthy went to the left hand. The Bulls looking to run. Jordan from deep. Yes. The Bulls take five four lead and immediately phil jackson signals to the defense move up move up find the ball early put pressure on him michael jordan during the playoffs for the most part has been starting in low-key fashion and then he has picked it up in the second half he's been looking to distribute the basketball nice move by perkins he was able to get the step on cartwright lakers by one Scott with his hands full and defending at least at the start against Michael Jordan. Devots up on Grant. Devots got a piece of it. Scott spotting up. He's been hot from three-point land. And here comes Paxson. Pippen back for Paxson. Jordan over 
open. One thing you'll see from Chicago is excellent spacing on offense, good ball movement, unselfish play. One key sign is the assists in the playoffs. Jordan and Pippen lead the team in assists. And Worthy threw up the air ball. Lakers get back, Pippen on the move. Perkins protecting. Three on two for the Lakers. Scott, yes. And the Lakers now lead by the score of 8-5. What confidence Magic shows by advancing the ball to his center to lead a three on two fast break and then believing that Vladi will make the right decision and be able to execute in the end. Iron Scott has shot well during the course of the playoffs. Grant, he had the position. Last touch by Johnson. It will be Chicago in possession. I think one thing that the Lakers did pick up in the series from Portland was the understanding that we must become a better rebounding team. In the games they lost to the Trailblazers, they were beaten thoroughly on the glass. The ones they won, they made a strong comeback, did their share of rebounding. Pippen extending. And Worthy gets to it. The Chicago Bulls have won 15 straight home playoff games. The last home playoff loss to Detroit last June the 2nd. A year ago to the day, Perkins, and the Lakers off to the good shooting start and jumped in front by the score of 10-5 with just a shade over four minutes gone by. Pippen lost it. And this is a rare situation as Scott fires where the Bulls have not gotten off to the fast start, particularly here at home. And is there anything to the fact that the number of days off maybe produced a little bit of uh, rust and not in that game condition that you need, particularly in the championship series? Michael Jordan now one for three from the field. And again, it's Devon's handling the ball well. Devon's going down half for Perkins. Ten and the ball seven. Well, Michael Jordan made sure that one of those shots were going in. The jumpers weren't falling. He took it to the basket strong, dunked it the way all coaches like to see you do to be sure. Well, Paxson turned his head. He was caught on a mismatch and Worthy able to take advantage. Lakers 12 and the ball seven. And Jordan was hit. Scott reaching in. Magic Johnson also involved, and they call it on Magic. Timeout taken, 6.36 remaining in this first quarter. The Chicago Bulls last played last Monday afternoon and wrapping up the series against Detroit. A moment ago, we posed the question, how will the long layoff affect the Bulls? And we asked that of Phil Jackson. Six days off, you really can't maintain the kind of the energetic... Uh, momentum, the, you know, the camaraderie is still there, and uh, you know the, the elated feeling of being in the finals. But you're really not in game shape right now. Your shooting isn't going to be as sharp as it was a week ago. So we have to rebuild the, the momentum. Uh, we're going to have to regenerate that again. And the Bulls are trailing here early by the score of 12-7. Mike, I always feel though that is a a point that is rationalized after the fact. Now, if the Bulls had gotten off fast, and we, you know, were so early in the game, people would say, well, they're well rested. It's better. However, if they don't get off to the fast start, you'll pose the question, as you did, well, maybe the layoff hurt them, while the Lakers played recently, Thursday night. There's no question. Over the years, coaches have tried to find a solution for when they have too many days off. Some coaches I know, in fact, have brought outside teams in to play mini scrimmages against their team. Practicing against the same people is not the same as game situation. The shooting, the pressure defense, the running, the intensity, the concentration. So you must try to find a way to keep them sharp, but it's hard. The more days off, the harder it is to maintain that level of play. Michael Jordan fouled just before the timeout by Magic Johnson. He is an 85% free throw shooter. In the playoffs, he leads the NBA. He's averaging 31 per ball game. Jordan hits one out of two, and it's the Lakers 12 and the Bulls 8. Here's the light pressure, and the Lakers have no trouble with it. 
have big men who can handle the ball in both Devons and Perkins. And they are prepared for the fact that the Bulls will try to keep out of Magic's hands. They have their releases ready, and they're executing very well right now. Open shot for Worthy. Good luck from Scott. And it's the Lakers 14, and the Bulls 8. Grant with Pippen and caught right up front. Paxson and Jordan at the guard. It is Byron Scott opening against Michael Jordan. Jordan able to blow right by. And Magic immediately turning to Vlade and explaining, wait a minute, this is the way we had decided to play that play. Make sure you remember and do it. I'm relying on you. We'll have to see how long Mike Dunleavy stays with the matchup of Byron Scott. There is one school of thought as you see worthy position for the turnaround. He's off to the fast start. Four for six. Eight points. That Byron Scott's offensive game uh, can be affected when he matches up against Michael Jordan, which is understandable. That uh, Jordan has just disheartened him on so many occasions. Jordan battling for the rebound and fires again. Lakers by four. But Byron Scott shouldn't feel too bad because there are a lot of guys that have lost sleep the night before playing against Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, four out of seven, nine points. Again, a post-up move by Perkins. Beautifully done by Sam Perkins. He had Horace Grant at his mercy. Once again, the Bulls electing not to go double team immediately, playing the early part of the game straight up. Bad pass saved by Cartwright. From Jordan. And Scotty Pippen cuts it down to four. Paxson off the steal. Here's Jordan for Pippen. Rejected by Devox. But it will be Chicago ball. Jordan has decided that he's going to cut out the perimeter game for a while and try to take this thing to the basket strong. He foot fakes middle, goes baseline, no rotation that time by the rest of the Lakers. Jordan stepping off the pick and changed his mind. Here's Paxson. Yes. And the Bulls, in the midst of a roll, have come within two. Lakers have led by as many as six. Paxson mentioned to us yesterday, matter of factly, my job basically is go find an open area. Michael Jordan will find me with the basketball when he's double teamed. I just got to knock shots down. Shot clock down to three. Perkins from downtown. Yes. Sam Perkins hits the three. And it's the Lakers 21 and the Bulls 16. And going into this game, in the playoffs, Perkins shooting six for 17, over 35% from the three-point line. Something he used to do frequently when he was with the Dallas Mavericks. And he comes off a strong game in the windup against Portland. Cartwright from well beyond his, his reign. But a great example of the Lakers defense extending and challenging a shot by a Bulls player. They put a lot of pressure on shooters. 3.20 to go in this first quarter. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones from Chicago Stadium. Again, Worthy looking to post. Cartwright getting inside. Lost it to Devots. And then he was rejected. Here's Perkins. He threw the air ball. He had the new 24. May not have realized it. Paxson. The Lakers 21 and the Bulls 18 and the Bulls showing signs after the slow start. Mike Dunleavy will talk it over. Timeout taken by L.A. The Lakers in trying to establish their half-court offensive game sent Perkins low. Watch the Bulls' defense checking it out. No double teams early. They're trying to play the post-up people straight up, but eventually in the game, Jackson usually turns the defense and starts trapping. A.C. Green has come on for James Worthy. Worthy leads with eight. A.C. Green providing a spark at the form in Los Angeles on Thursday night. 23 minutes, 15 points. Also lifted the Lakers in games three and four. Shot clock is down to five. Scott. And back come the Bulls. They're down by three. Pippen for Jordan. The Laker lead is one with 2.20 to go in this first quarter. 
The Bulls' half-court offense may not be effective right now, but their transition game in the breakdown situations has been terrific. And the foul called on Pippen. That will send Byron Scott to the free throw line. The nice thing about this Bulls team is they have a number of people who can lead the break, make the right decision, and then perhaps the best finisher in basketball, Michael Jordan. Lakers have led by as many as six. They got off 14-8. And the Bulls have come back. Michael Jordan leading the way with 11 points. Also has three assists. So he has accounted for 17 of Chicago's 20 points. Byron Scott in his eighth year out of Arizona State threw up some 14 blocks from the form. And Englewood used to sneak his way into the form. I asked him his method. He said it's, it's all of the technique. The key is distracting the guard, who he said often was reading a newspaper. <laughs> Just under two minutes remaining. First quarter. Cartwright. Terrific extension by Bill Cartwright to get that up above Lottie Devon. And it's, it's a move that Cartwright likes to use, but doesn't use it a whole lot. Going back to that left shoulder for the extended jump hook. Lakers by one. Magic checking the shot clock. Three on two. Pippen. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. The Bulls have taken a one-point lead. Magic going right at Michael Jordan, and he drew the foul. Great quickness by the Bulls in transition and the willingness to give the ball up. Jordan pitching ahead to Pippen, another guy who finishes pretty well. Michael Jordan collecting his first foul. Magic Johnson with his first point of the day. Two-time most valuable player, won it last season for the second straight year. And this season, the runner-up to Michael Jordan. The Lakers 25, the Bulls 24, as we come up on one minute left in this opening quarter. Jordan off the fake. And he is on fire. For Jordan, he's hit six of nine from the field. Bulls by one. That time you saw them run a second player at Magic early that time to take some of the pressure off of Jordan. Again, the shot clocked down. Now at five, Perkins force Green, and the loose ball foul has been called. It is on Grant. A.C. Green does such a terrific job on the F offensive boards. You must concentrate, keep a body on him at all times. He's had 33 offensive rebounds so far in the playoffs for the Lakers. The Bulls are over the foul limit. A.C. Green in his 471st consecutive game. Last missed the game, November of 1986. He's missed only three games in his six NBA season. Here's Craig Hodges replacing Bill Cartwright. So Phil Jackson will go small here in the final stages of the first quarter, but he likes to insert Hodges for the potential last-minute fling with the shot clock and the game clock working down. What they like to do to end quarters and halves is put the ball in Jordan's hand in the middle of the floor, put Paxson Hodges on the wings, spotting up the three-pointers. If you come and double-team Michael, he'll kick it out. They like to knock out the three with the crowd roaring at the buzzer. Game tied at 26. Jordan. Michael Jordan with 15 points. And that's what happens when you don't double team and stay at home with the three point shooters. Jordan has you one on one. It's the Bulls by two. Shot clock at 10. Game clock 13. Shot clock at five. Perkins from downtown. So Perkins with a second three pointer. Six and three tenth seconds to go in the quarter. seconds to go. They are standing and cheering the Bulls, who with a late drive 
have taken a 30-29 lead on the Lakers. Led by Michael Jordan, who hit 7 of 10, 15 points, 5 assists. The Bulls have the lead after one in game one of the best of seven. As they like to do to end quarters, put the ball in Jordan's hand because he usually makes something good happen. You know, many times they say that when Michael Jordan's tongue is out, something bad's gonna happen for the opposition. Takes a page out of Magic's book with the hook pass over the top. A spectacular first quarter for Michael Jordan. Seven for 10 for 15 points, plus five assists. And as we mentioned earlier, Throughout most of the playoffs, Michael has started slowly, kind of checking things out, getting his teammates involved, and then has poured it on, come on strong in the second half. Not the case here today. Well, maybe he's thinking hey, some of my teammates might be a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, big game situation, championship series. Let me give him some confidence, get him off to a quick start by doing it myself. Cliff Levingston has checked in for the first time. Here's Jordan. Patrick Johnson gets to it. Terry Teagle on the floor for the Lakers for the first time. So he bots with Green and Worthy up front. Worthy returning. Teagle and Johnson at the guards. They try to double up on Teagle. Pull it past Beauty. And the foul call. Magic Johnson spotting the open man, Vladi Divac. Cartwright called for the foul, his second. One of the things you'll notice during this series is the great hands of Divac, the ability to catch the hard passes that Magic Johnson throws at the spur of the moment when a lot of players aren't expecting him. They have turnovers as a result. Divac comes up with the ball. Sounds simple, but so important. Crowd reacting to the entrance of Will Perdue, who has become a crowd favorite here in Chicago. He replaces Bill Cartwright, four points, two personal fouls for Cartwright. Earlier this season, Perdue had complained about lack of playing time, that he moved up in Phil Jackson's rotation, began to play well, and came up solid during the playoffs. We see a little change in the philosophy now defensively by the Lakers with Teagle on the floor instead of Scott. James Worthy has moved over now to guard Michael Jordan. Bulls 14 for 22 for the field in the first quarter. They made 12 of the last 15 after the slow start. Ebot's able to take the dribble from Jordan. And Michael Jordan knew he had a mismatch situation, tried to take Devots off the dribble, but the Lakers recognized and surrounded the ball immediately. Lakers 50%, 11 for 22 shooting in the first quarter. Now Worthy backing Grant. Shot clock is at five. He ran out of options and goes to the finger roll. What a move by James Worthy. The best option, perhaps. Put it in the basket. Lakers lead at 33-30. We're just underway in the second quarter. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones from Chicago Stadium. Purdue from Jordan. And you can see Magic that time give his teammates the verbal signal to come and double team when he wanted to help. But Jordan's so unselfish, he finds the open man. So the Lakers by one. Here's Teagle getting inside. Terry Teagle had a disappointing regular season, but he's come on in the playoffs. Came on strong toward the end of the season after he was signed as a free agent after spending time in Houston, Detroit, Golden State. That's a three-point attempt by Hodges. Green on the rebound. The Lakers are so tough because they will post any one of five people. Worthy with the post-up move and score right there. Four of the five starters will post up. Only Scott not being a post-up guy. And then Teagle off the bench is another post-up man. Most teams are happy to have just one or two post-up guys. 12 points for Worthy. Lakers extend to a five-point lead. The pass broken up. And back comes Magic. Los Angeles Lakers. Worthy with the opening. And the loose ball foul called. It's on Devots. 9-15 remaining in the second quarter. Lakers lead 37-32. A timeout call. 
As long as Michael Jordan is away from the basket, Magic Johnson will play him straight up. Jordan will then try to back down the player into the scoring area, and at a certain point, you'll see Magic turn his head, ask for help from his teammates, but keep an eye underneath Will Purdue because Jordan finds his open teammates. Yes, he is the czar of the Telestrator. Let's go to Amar. All right, Mark, doing that last time out. Phil Jackson was saying that they're trying to go to their uh, offensive menu. A lot of isolations, a lot of screen roll. What he was upset was there's too much congestion underneath the basket. The big men not doing enough spacing. Let's go over to Steve. All right, Ahmad, the Los Angeles Lakers feel confident that they can score at any offensive possession. Their big concern is defensive rotation off of Michael Jordan. Back to you, Mark. All right, Steve and Craig Hodges able to hit his first field goal with three minutes gone by in the second quarter. The Lakers lead the Bulls 37-34. Check of the stats, six assists apiece for Jordan and Johnson. Teagle had it knocked away. Shot clock is at... 14, Scotty Pippen checking back in. He'll replace Horace Grant. Leaves with a field goal for two. Bill Jackson was telling us at practice yesterday that the Lakers will try to lull you to sleep. Then they'll pick you apart. They have a, a way of frustrating the defense. They take so much time off the 24-second clock, and we've certainly seen that here in the first quarter. Worthy with another gorgeous move. Worthy with 14. And remember, there were questions about Worthy because of that sprained ankle. Deflected out. It will be Chicago ball. Worthy has the ability to back you down, back you down to the last possible second on the 24 second clock and then finds a way to get a good shot off. And the ball shot clock is at 10. Devon's able to jump out effectively. Here's Pippen. And Tingle on the rebound. AC Green up front with Lottie Devon's James Worthy. Johnson and Terry Teagle now at the guard. Matchup is now Levingston against Worthy, who's backing him down, and then not able to hit the jump. Here comes Jordan. Michael goes all the way, and then a late decision, and he's called for the travel. He tried to hand it off. He was undecided, and a rare traveling violation indicator. Jack Madden saying that Michael's feet touched the ground before he actually got rid of the basketball. He's airborne, and the foot, he says, comes down before the pass is delivered. From another angle, check it out and see if the feet touch before the ball is delivered. Looks like a good call. And Michael Jordan will sit down. B.J. Armstrong has come out for the first time. 15.7 assists for Jordan. Good play by Levingston. First thing Levingston did was he got Worthy off the block. Next thing, he denied him the ball, got the deflection out of bounds. Cliff Levingston did not get the playing time during the regular season and had a disappointing regular season after coming over from the Atlanta Hawks, but he snapped it up in particular in the series against Detroit. Purdue got a piece of that shot at that, and the foul is called. In speaking with Levingston, he felt early in the season he was so concerned about not messing up the Bulls team when he was out on the floor, a uh, rather intricate half-court offensive system, one that he was, well, if he goes back, he was so embedded into the Hawks system for such a long number of years that he moves over into Chicago's new system, and he said, I was just afraid of messing up when I got on the floor and really didn't just go out and play. Was that that complicated uh, Hawks system under Coach Fratello? You yes, the three plays that we had. Yes. <laughs> Will Purdue call for the foul. A.C. Green on the line. Levingston emerged in the series against Detroit. He actually came to Chicago Stadium very upset prior to one of the big games he had against the Pistons after he read a newspaper column in which he and uh, another newcomer, uh, Dennis Hobson, were referred to as clutter in terms of what they have contributed off the bench. And he said that gave him the extra incentive to prove his critics wrong. Here's Hodges. Yes. And the Lakers lead 41-36. Well, maybe Phil Jackson will uh, be ghostwriting some uh, tough stories on Cliff Levingston trying to get him going. Five minutes gone by in the second quarter. Now Purdue guarding Perkins. Off 
the steal. Levingston for Purdue. And he will go to the line. Almost a bad decision that turns into a good play for Chicago. Levingston gave it up to a big man too far from the basket, but they'll wind up shooting two free throws. Larry Drew just came on. Come on, get rid of that the foul. Welcome back to Chicago. The Lakers lead the Bulls by 5.649 remaining in this first half. And we have an NBA Finals flashback involving a couple of Lakers. Six years to the day, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar passed Jerry West as the all-time leading scorer in playoff history. Not only did Kareem pass West in this series, he won the Most Valuable Player Award of the Finals as he led the Lakers past Boston in six games. Johnson looking to put a move on Wilt Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor, Larry Bird. Magic sitting out. Larry Drew has come on for the first time. So Mike Dunley be going with a combination of Teagle and Drew in the backcourt. Perkins with Green and Worthy up front. Will Purdue to the free throw line in his third year out of Vanderbilt. And that is his third point of the day as has been the case for the Bulls. Whenever Phil Jackson puts four of the bench players on the court, Armstrong, Hodges, Levingston, Purdue, either Jordan or Pippen remain out there to be the glue for that unit. Pressure by the Bulls, providing some problems for the Lakers. Phil Jackson will go with the light pressure, and he'll use it. As a surprise element, Drew shooting the three, Purdue on the rebound. And that full court pressure wound up in a rush shot for the Lakers that time. However, the Bulls give it right back. Larry Drew moving it against B.J. Armstrong. Here's Teagle, called for the travel. Siegel had two good looks at the basket that time, wound up trying to get a better shot, and as a result, turned it over. High point man of the game, Michael Jordan, 15 points. Along with his seven assists, he's accounted for 29 of the 36 uh, Bulls points prior to sitting down. Purdue, Will Purdue going glass for his second field goal, and the Bulls move within one. The leading scorers for the Lakers, Worthy, 14, Perkins with 12. Here's Perkins. And again, it is Purdue on the rebound. Taking Teagle down low. Yes, and it counts. Chicago wound up playing pick and roll basketball with Scotty Pippen coming off the screen set by Craig Hodges. Lakers switch, but as a result, Pippen had a smaller man, takes advantage of it, and backs him right into the hole. Dunleavy making changes. Magic Johnson returns. As does Byron Scott. And Wally Devots, the Bulls, have reeled off eight consecutive points. Michael Jordan back on the floor. Jordan trying to sneak inside, but it will be Laker ball. The Bulls 42. The Lakers 41, Livingston able to pick it off. And the Lakers had station worthy at the opposite end of the floor. The Bulls did not match up. Magic just looked up a little bit too late. The idea was right. Execution is a little sloppy that time. Again, Jordan played by Scott. Devon's over to help. Pippen with two on the shot clock. Has to fire it. And it is a 24-second violation. 
We've been giving the Bulls defense a lot of credit, but we must remind people the Lakers have played outstanding defensive basketball, particularly down the stretch of the regular season and throughout the playoffs. Lakers and Bulls meeting for the first time in the NBA Finals. First time they've met in the playoffs since 1973. Livingston with the rejection. Here's Armstrong. Yes. DJ Armstrong in his second year out of Iowa has done an excellent job coming off the bench this season. A 10-0 run by the Bulls. They now lead it by three. It is their biggest lead of the game. Here's Magic, who's been quiet. Bulls looking for an offensive foul. They do not get the call. Magic sees the crease in the defense, just puts his head down, basically. He says, I'm going to the basket. Bulls a little slow in closing down that lane to the rim. Magic is two for two from the line. An illustrious career for Irvin Magic Johnson. He is the NBA's second all-time leader in steals behind Maurice Fuchs of the New York Knicks and now the all-time assist leader breaking Oscar Robertson's record that was back in April. Here's Jordan. And Michael will go to the free throw line. I can't say for sure whether the Bulls are trying to play mind games with Byron Scott, but as soon as he comes back in and the matchup takes place, Scott versus Jordan, Chicago sent Michael Jordan down in the hole on a post-up to get him off right away versus Scott. Jordan is one for two from the foul line. Just under four minutes remaining in this first half. And the Bulls lead it by one. is back and Will Purdue hears it from the crowd. And now a timeout taken. When we come back, it'll be Jordan back to the foul line. Well, the Lakers led by as many as seven, but a 10-0 run by Chicago has propelled the Bulls to their biggest lead, a, a margin of three. Excellent job by the Bulls bench. And again, Cliff Levingston providing an emotional lift. A guy who knows his role. Rebound, play good defense against the team's top scorers. Very willing to do that. All right, let's go over to Amon. All right, Mark. Cliff Livingston may be playing well right now, but last night he had a tough time sleeping. He said he was so nervous about this game, he couldn't eat. He tried to eat breakfast this morning, and Marv, he lost his breakfast, but he's been playing well. Back to you. Amon has such a way with words, doesn't he? He lost his breakfast. Very impressed. You know, I never quite heard it captured in that manner. Michael Jordan on the line for his second free throw. 3.56 remaining in the first half. So the Bulls lead at 45-43, and again, the light pressure by Chicago. Magic met by the trap. Devots worthy, Perkins up front. Scott Johnson in the backcourt. Because of the switch, all of a sudden, Michael Jordan is on Vlade Devots, playing him down low. The double team gets it out of his hand. Magic delivering for Devots. Shot clock, out of one, and a flock by Pippen. It's a 24-second violation. The trapping defense forced a mismatch. Jordan on Divac. Unfortunately, Vlade couldn't find the handle on the ball. Now Pippen played by Worthy. Caught right, eluding Divac. Crowd looking for a foul. With the long arms of Sam Perkins, bothered the shot, forced the miss. Crowd wanted a travel, but Armstrong picked it off. It's a two-on-one. Here's Jordan. Eighteen points for Michael Jordan. Bulls lead at 47, 43. They're just getting now into their half-court offense with 10 seconds left on the 24-second clock. 
Shot clock to two. So once again, the Lakers roll that shot clock all the way down. Six points for Devons. And the Bulls lead at 47-45. Jordan with the fake right, went left, and then was bottled up. Good play by Scott. Three Lakers surrounding Jordan once he put it on the floor. Yes, Byron had some help, but was able to deflect it away. Here's a mismatch, Perkins, and he drew the foul. Levingston coming over to help out Armstrong. So Sam Perkins, a college teammate of Michael Jordan, as was James Worthy, to the free throw line. Over the last three years, he has worked vigorously with weights. Six years in Dallas, signed with the Lakers as an unrestricted free agent last August, and it has turned into a splendid move by Laker general manager Jerry West. And as you follow Perkins in his career, he started out under Dick Mott, a little bit of post-up action. When John McCoy, Richie Adubato took over, a little more post-up action. When Adubato was named the head coach, stuck him down in the hole on a full-time basis. He said, score from down low. And then Dunleavy has taken over now, and it gives him five people to post up on offense. The crowd reacting to the play of Cliff Levingston. Horace Grant checking back in. The Lakers and the Bulls tied at 47. Game one of the NBA Championship Series. Game two here Wednesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern time on NBC. Game three in L.A. next Friday night, starting at 9 Eastern time. Cartwright to the fadeaway. Devonts on the rebound. It has been a media onslaught here in... Chicago credentials issued to 550 journalists uh, representing 12 countries, including Italy, Greece, Spain, France, and Japan. Three-point attempt by Perkins. He hit two earlier. And this championship series is being seen in 70 countries. Armstrong wide open. A minute 20 left in the first half. Game tied at 47. Magic had it broken up. Last touch by the Lakers. Now Magic Johnson appealing to the outside official Hugh Hollins. Jack Madden made the call and the call standing. Here's Pippen. Scotty Pippen going glass. He has nine. Bulls lead 49-47. Coming up at halftime, the final shootout with Bob and Pat going at each other on the Prudential Halftime Report. That is coming up momentarily. Shot clock at five. Worthy from downtown. And the foul is called. Scott grabbed by Armstrong. Mike Dunleavy reminding James Worthy, if there's enough time on that 24-second clock, use the dribble penetration to get in the seam and force another rotation by the Bulls' defense. That time, James, because the shot clock had almost gone off, had to launch the long jumper. Mike Dunleavy, 36 years old, a product of the schoolyards of Brooklyn. Excellent playmaking, scoring guard at South Carolina. He took over under pressure conditions from Pat Riley. Mike Dunleavy was in a no-win situation, but he still won. Sixth-round draft pick of the Philadelphia 76ers. Eventually landed with Houston. Four-year stay there. Also played at San Antonio and Milwaukee. And an assistant coach with the Milwaukee Bucks. After what Pat Riley had accomplished with the Lakers program, there are many coaches that would not want to step into those shoes or sit in that head coach position. Don't leave you looked at it a little bit differently. He said, hey, I think this team has a chance to win a championship. I'd like to be part of all that. Let me take a shot at it. Game tied at 49. Here's Armstrong. Yes. E.J. Armstrong with a second field goal. The indication a two-pointer the Bulls were looking for a three that's the reason for the stoppage 30 seconds left in the half Teagle has checked back in racing with Hodges Teagle and Johnson and Scott on the floor in a three-guard alignment along with Worthy and Perkins and the foul is called 
That time, Magic did not give Jordan a chance to body up on him, did not give him a chance to double. As soon as he caught the basketball, he turned and went. Keep an eye at Scott and Jordan down low. The battle taking place, the bodies, the arms. It's a battle out here. Jordan called for his second. Magic Johnson has been very quiet offensively. He's four for four from the line. He has attempted only one field goal attempt. But as we have seen throughout the season, 22nd timeout called by the Bulls, it has not been important that Magic come up with, with big numbers. In fact, when he scores in prolific fashion, the Lakers usually have either lost or not played well. The assist category has been the significant one when it comes to Magic Johnson and, and W's for the Lakers. Magic Johnson on the glass helps the Lakers. Magic Johnson directing the show out there, understanding that he had to take a little bit more of the scoring burden upon himself when Kareem retired, but he doesn't want to overdo it to the point where the spotlight's on him for scoring. He'd rather share that part of it with his teammates, just make him win in the end. in his 12th season out of Michigan State. Earlier this year, missed a couple of games with a jam middle finger on his right hand. He was telling us how happy he is to be uh, healthy after the long grind of the regular season and on to the final round of the playoffs. Lakers and Bulls tied at 51. We are down to 10 seconds to go in the half. Pippen trying to hand off to Grant. Here's Grant. Now Pippen, and he threw the foul with two and seven ten seconds left in the first half. Foul called on Perkins. That is his first. The initial defense by the Lakers was outstanding. They took away... The drive off the dribble by Pippen. They cut off on the dump down pass for the layup by rotating from the weak side. It was just the extra hustle by the Bulls coming up with the second, third shot opportunities. Scotty Pippen is one for three from the line. The Bulls only five out of nine from the free throw line. Lakers at 17 of 18. Pippen only a 71% free throw shooter. Bulls take a one-point lead and a timeout taken by Mike Dunleavy. So when we come back, Pippen will go to the line to shoot a second. Two and seven-tenths seconds remaining in the half. Wednesday night, Magic and Michael resume as they move their dream matchup to prime time for game two of the NBA championship series. The Lakers and the Bulls, Wednesday night, starting at 9 o'clock Eastern time, right here. This will force you to stay up a little bit later than normal, 9 p.m. Uh, starting yes. time. Yes, take a nap during the day. I'll be fine. I think we need referee Arthur Mercanti to uh, check this one out. Let's see, salary about the same. We're not talking about all the extracurricular activities. MVP awards, Magic with three, Michael with two. But uh, the big number that Michael would like to put a dent into under the uh, category of championships. In fairness, the supporting cast has been a little bit different with the Lakers over the years than it has been here in Chicago. The Lakers have been there, have built it, and maintained it. The Bulls on their way to getting there. This is a strong first half for the Lakers on the home court of the Chicago Bulls. Here's Pippen from center court. Lakers shot only 44%, but they're down by only two, while the Bulls 61% shooting in the first half. Jordan leading the way with 18 points, along with the five rebounds and eight assists. Halftime in Chicago, game one of the best of seven. The Bulls by two. Bob and Pat coming up in just a moment. Welcome back to Chicago. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones, and the Bulls by two over the Lakers as we head to the third quarter. Worthy and Perkins leading Los Angeles with 14, 18 for Jordan, Pippen with 11. The Bulls' backcourt has done the job. The 
combination of Michael Jordan along with John Paxson and B.J. Armstrong and Craig Hodges. Armstrong and Hodges off the bench. And look at the guard shooting. The Bulls 14 for 20 overall. How about this? Magic Johnson, one shot attempt during that first half. Jordan and Paxson starting in the backcourt. Grant up front with Cartwright and Pippen. And Jordan drew the foul. Off the fake. Devots picks up his second. And Michael Jordan making sure that they get to the free throw line a few more times this half. Starts out initially just by showing the ball, get him in the air, take the body contact. Well, this is a matchup of arguably the two greatest players in the game. To this point, it's been Michael Jordan's show. He now has 19. He's three out of five from the free throw line. During the regular season, the Lakers and the Bulls split the two game set, each team winning at home. Bulls beating the Lakers here in Chicago back in December, led by Jordan, who had. 33. Pippen had a big game, a 13 for 17 for 28. Lakers won in L.A. in early February. Bulls go to the trap, and Devot's handling it. And he just does get it across the timeline. That's the purpose in the extended defense. Put pressure on him, run that clock down. Don't give him a chance to get into the half-court sets. Nice lead from Scott. And Perkins with 16 has brought the Lakers within two. One thing the Laker team has is such a great feel and understanding of the 24-second clock, eliminating the state of panic that sets in as it runs down. A look-away pass handled by Grant. Made the good catch, but under pressure, not able to hit. Magic with the spin. The pass off the dribble of Devons. What a play. Magic Johnson with a seventh assist, setting up Lottie Devons. And he's tying the game at 55. And he saw Michael Jordan sitting back trying to anticipate which way he was going. The eye fake left, hits right. Bill Cartwright providing a two-point lead for Chicago. Cartwright has hit three of six. He has six points. The Los Angeles Lakers open the season under new coach Mike Dunleavy. Alan Paxson. They lost four of their first five games, their worst start since 1978. But they turned it in November at one point, winning eight in a row. They also had a 16-game win streak, which included a sweep of a five-game road trip. And in the playoffs, Lakers sweeping Houston in three, defeating Golden State four games to one, and then they took Portland in six. Magic eyeing up the court, looks left, but sees Devot's right. Jordan starts to move over, anticipating the one to the left. Gets faked out by Magic. Minute and a half gone by in the third. The game tied at 57. Michael Jordan. Lottie Devons leading the Lakers off the boards. Worthy did not have the post up move. Now this Magic getting it right back to him. Shot clock at five. Here's Worthy. Look out, Pippen went down. Again, Bill Cartwright knocking somebody out of the picture. Picked off Scott, who tried to recover. Caught right. Here's Grant. Morris Grant with a second field goal, getting the good position to give the Bulls a 59-57 advantage. battling with Grant. Devots foul packed by Horace Grant. That's the first picked up by Grant. Something that the Lakers may have to change as this series goes on. When Magic Johnson enters down low to any one of his post-up people, 
since Michael Jordan is guarding him, there's an awareness there by the post-up players for the Lakers that Jordan may come and either try for the steal or try and block it from behind their head. You may see Magic start to pass and cut through to get Jordan out of that area. Vlade Divac, native of Yugoslavia. He played for the Yugoslavia national team. He will play for Yugoslavia in the 1992 Olympics. Ten points for Vlade. And the Lakers and Bulls tied at 59. Jordan found the open man. Here's Pippen. And Magic Johnson able to get to it. Notice Magic. Check behind him right away. He knew Jordan was under the basket. Jordan loves to come and hang in on defensive rebounders for steals. Magic checked him out. And Pippen able to pick that one off. Steals by Chicago, fourth best in the league this year, producing easy scores. Back come the Lakers. Perkins getting down, but lost it. Murphy recaptures and hits. The Lakers lead at 61-59. Slowing down here in the third. Here's Pippen. And Perkins went down. He was shaken up. All right. Lakers have led by as many as seven. The Bulls' longest lead, a margin of four. And a defense from this Chicago Stadium crowd. Risky pass cost. Magic upset with himself, but too much on it. Bulls in possession, trailing by two. Devots stepping out. Now the Bulls forced to use much of the shot clock here in the third. Pippen off another gorgeous pass. And they have the new 24. Bulls want to talk it over. Timeout taken. 6.54 remaining in the third. By golly, Jack making the trip from the West Coast. What an amazing likeness. 6.54 to go on the third. Lakers with a two-point lead on the ball. When you're a student of the game as well as a great player, you know your opponent's tendencies. Magic knows Michael likes to steal from behind, just kind of checks it out to make sure he clears the area. Yes, Magic with the feeling that Michael was lurking. Balls have hit only two of ten from the field in this third quarter. They've missed their last five shot attempts. Scott doing a nice job on Jordan, cutting off the move to the left. Scotty Pippen off the recovery. He has 13, and the game is tied at, at 61. Lakers have attempted only four shots thus far in this third quarter, almost halfway, halfway through the quarter. They've hit three out of four. And they continue to use most of the shot clock, slowing the tempo down. Magic is able to convert, and that is his first field goal of the afternoon. He almost passed it off, looked up suddenly, saw two, put it on the floor, and still got a shot off before the 24-second clock sounded. Lakers 63, Bulls 61. Here's Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan hits from downtown. from deep. Here's Jordan. Saw the opening, but lost it. Magic. 
for Worthy. Nice fake. And then he was stopped. And credit transition defense. And here's Jordan. Hugh Hollins and Hugh Evans checking each other on the call. And the foul has been called on Byron Scott. Magic checking out the 24-second clock. Knows he's got to get a shot off and then buries it. A great ability to have the feel for when the clock has run all the way down and you must get it up on the glass to give your team a chance to rebound if it shouldn't go in. That was only the second field goal attempt by Magic Johnson, so he's one for two from the field and six out of six from the line. Jordan rejected by Devots emphatically. Here's Pippen. That's two-point range. His outside shot has been off here today. Overall, Scotty Pippen, five for 13 from the field. Byron Scott has not been getting his shots. Won't count. Foul before the shot attempt. It's called on Pippen. That is three charged to Scotty Pippen. And again, the Bulls staying with the philosophy of get the basketball out of the point guard's hands. As soon as Magic brings it across, Horace Grant knows that his... Assignment defensively is not in a scoring position. Runs over, taps the ball, gets Magic to give it up. Cliff Levingston have played 10 minutes and played well in the, in the first half. Has checked back in. Devots. Buddy Devots on the follow. It's the Lakers 65 and the Bulls 64. Michael Jordan sitting down, replaced by Cliff Levingston. Paxson open. Yes. John Paxson has hit three out of four. He'll get a lot of open shots because of the constant double teaming on either Jordan or Pippen. Bulls by one. Worthy over Levingston. Levingston forced him a little bit more outside than he would have liked to go. Pushed him outside, challenged the shot with an extended arm and hand. Pippen, won't count. He's called for traveling. Levingston gets it back to the guy he knows can produce and score. As Pippen gets in traffic, he tries to change hands, and it looks pretty good like he did get it off from here. A call for the steps. Lakers get it back, and Paxson intercepts Johnson. Bulls lead by one, and the tripping foul. Called on Magic. That is his second. Lakers and Bulls each have three team fouls. Bill Jackson now has a front court of Cartwright, Levingston, and Pippen. Timeout has been called with 3.25 remaining. Michael Jordan sitting it out right now with 325 remaining in the third quarter and the Bulls up by one 66 65 for a report on Michael let's go to Ahmad. All right Marv nothing bothering Michael he's just a little bit tired he's been working so hard on both ends of the court he just took himself out to get a little breather and he will be back. Marv. All right Ahmad as you mentioned it may be very taxing over the long haul for Michael Jordan at the defensive end of the court going up against Magic Johnson. And we'll watch as the game goes on. In the first half, Jordan got 12 field goal attempts up, went to the free throw line for four attempts. So far in the third quarter, one for three from the floor. It is Chicago ball as we resume following the timeout. And Scotty Pippen now five for 14. Bulls maintain possession. Pippen guarded by Johnson. Cartwright feeling around for the defender Perkins. And that time Perkins really stretched out defensively, extended, made Cartwright fall away a little bit further and have to arc the ball that much higher. The result, terrible shot. Cliff Lovingston going up against Magic Johnson. Shot clock at five. Perkins 
He was forced into a very difficult shot. Exactly the same at the other end that time. Perkins, because of the pressure, changed his shot. Michael Jordan getting sent to return. Levingston. That was the first shot attempt by Cliff Levingston. He is not on the floor for his jump shooting proficiency. We approach two minutes to go in the third. And Worthy able to drill it home. He has 18. The Lakers lead 67-66. Back game for Worthy, Ailing, and game six against Portland. Did not shoot well Thursday night. Scotty Pippen with 15 points, and the Bulls recapture the lead. And with that little foot fake, Pippen froze Worthy, who still is not running the floor uh, completely free with the bad ankle. Magic backing Levingston. Pippen over to help, freeing up Worthy. Yes. Well, Pippen looked to help out on Magic Johnson, and the Lakers took advantage. They lead 69-68. The thinking is almost the same for both guys, Pippen and Worthy. You wanted to shoot from the outside, but both of them are getting just a step beyond the free throw line. They'll nail those. Here's Pippen. A minute five to go in the third quarter. Cartwright steps out on Worthy. Grant over. Devots played by Pippen on a switch. A good pass from Paxson. Grant has been off. And Grant had magic pinned on his back right under the front of the rim. Just couldn't convert. Grant wanted a foul call. Here's Magic from downtown. Magic Johnson with a dramatic three-pointer to give the Lakers a 72-68 lead. And that leads to the timeout taken by the ball. So Magic Johnson with two field goals. He hits the three. And earlier in this third quarter, he hit a shot with the 24-second clock running down. And that shouldn't surprise you. In 14 playoff games, he had already taken 50 seven three-point attempts in the playoffs. It'll be 29 to 9, 10 seconds remaining in the third when play is resumed, and it will be Chicago ball. This is a Los Angeles Laker franchise that won five NBA titles in the 1980s. These are the new L.A. Lakers. Don, a fellow by the name of Pat Riley, Kareem, Michael Cooper, Orlando Woolridge, all important pieces in previous championship runs. But it is a new cast of characters, and the front line has done the job right throughout the playoffs, and that has been the case here uh, today. Worthy, Devots, and Perkins have severely outplayed the Chicago Bull front line, and uh, this could be a major factor throughout the playoffs. Uh, they certainly have the size and the quickness up front. Here's Jordan with time running down in the third. Maxson. Magic on the rebound. And the foul is called. A holding foul. That's three on Jordan. There's that same guy again, Michael Jordan, trying to come up from behind Magic to deflect the ball. Final seconds of the quarter. Magic for three. Yes! Magic Johnson again from downtown. Six-tenths of a second, and time has run out. So Magic Johnson supplying the firepower here in the third at a couple of threes. Magic with 14 points in all, along with his nine assists. Well, Michael Jordan won the early rounds, but you sense there is magic in the air here in Chicago. And we'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station.
to the fourth quarter in Chicago. The Lakers have opened up a 75-68 lead on the Bulls in game one of the best of seven. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, and Steve Jones. Let's go over to Steve. All right, Marv, you may have noticed that uh, James Worthy was hobbling a little bit more in that third quarter of play. Two things happened. The ankle stiffened up on him. They taped it a little bit tighter, but he is fine. Those 20 points tell you that the Chicago Bulls don't know that he's hurt. Back to you. All right, Steve. Worthy hanging in as we start the fourth quarter up front with Perkins and Devots new backcourt. Patrick Johnson will get a rest. Larry Drew and Terry Teagle have come on. The Bulls only six for 22 in the third quarter. 27 percent shooting while the Lakers stepped it up getting a nine of 16. B.J. Armstrong now matched with Larry Drew played briefly in the first half. Perkins lost it to Pippen and then regained. Good recovery by Perkins, and then he was hit. The Bulls trying to make some things happen with their with their aggressive defense. As Phil Jackson has told us so much of the time, we just can't sit back because they're bigger, a more physical team. We've got to make it happen by being aggressive. Hands, deflections, double teams, all trying to force turnovers. The foul called on Pippen, so that is number four on Scotty Pippen. Perkins posting up on Pippen. Does not want to commit number five. Went for the block, and he got it. Back man indicating clean block. Armstrong, wide open. Lakers have a seven-point lead. Through with a beautiful pass, and the foul on Pippen, and that is number five as Perkins hit the floor. Larry Drew threading the needle, seeing his big guy working hard to get down the floor in transition. And then Perkins keeps his eye on it, finds the handle, and manages to get the shot up before he passes by the backboard. There's the opening. It's slight, but just on time before Jordan can get there for the steal. Scotty Pippen with five personal fouls. And Sam Perkins to the free throw line. He is two for two from the line. Sam told us at the start of the season he was not comfortable with the Lakers and their system. Did not know the plays. Took a while, but now he is very comfortable. Pippen sitting down as Grant returns. Grant up front with Levingston and Purdue. Armstrong and Jordan in the backcourt. And you knew it was going to be an adjustment period because not only did they add Perkins, but bringing Teagle in, another guy they wanted to go to down low. Everyone needed to understand how they were going to get him the ball, where were they going to get him the ball, and then what do the rest of us do when they have the ball? Rare misses for the Lakers from the foul line. And Drew called for the foul. One minute gone by in the fourth quarter. Game two will take place here in Chicago Wednesday night. We'll be on hand starting 9 o'clock Eastern time. Game three of the four in Los Angeles next Friday. Game four in L.A. next Sunday night. Michael Jordan has 25. Lakers lead at 75-70. Mike Dunleavy looking to buy some time, providing a rest period for Magic Johnson. Is Teagle on a quick release? Grant off the rebound. Jordan working against both Teagle and Drew. Levingston. Lakers now lead by three. The Lakers do an excellent job of collapsing in the lane and taking away Jordan's initial move. Then it's covering the other people that will become the biggest problem. Worthy backing Levingston. Here's Devots. Lost it. He thought he was fouled. Armstrong. Chicago within one. And the Lakers call for. Second timeout taken by Mike Dunleavy with Chicago reeling off six on air. 
extra point. Now they changed it to a full timeout. We'll be back in a moment. Lakers now by one over the Bulls. 9.47 to go in this fourth quarter. It's been a superb rookie season for head coach Mike Dunleavy, although the Lakers did get off to a slow start. We talked about that with Magic Johnson. They asked, was there any point where you questioned Dunleavy's system would work? Well, I thought it would work. It's just I knew it was going to take a while. As a matter of fact, I tell you what, who really helped me was uh, Coach Fratello pulled me aside one day. And uh, really, in all seriousness, he pulled me aside. I, I think we were like two and five or one and four at that particular time. And uh, he said, it's going to be all right because I had my doubts, yeah. And I think the guys did too. In effect, Magic Johnson says that you turned the Lakers season around. Wait a moment. Well, what did you tell Magic? Not I can tell you, it's a secret. And Michael Jordan has given the Bulls a 76-75 lead. You're not allowed to tell us. You're getting paid big dollars for talking on television. Here's Perkins off the head fake. Come the Bulls. Jordan with the pull up. Yes! The Chicago Bulls with a 78 75 lead. They've reeled off 10 unanswered. Magic with the hook. And he will go to the foul line. Jordan, once he gets the basketball, has a full head of steam, but that gains control of the dribble, pulls up, so he gets the good look at the basket, the good position, and then he is ready to open this thing up and wants to get everybody else involved. However, he just committed his fourth foul, putting Magic Johnson on the foul line. Mark, there are some things that must remain in confidence between two people. You just can't expect me to tell everyone who's watching and listening what went on between Magic and I. So the Bulls lead by two. Now this was what, early in the season you had a little chat with, with Magic? The, the biggest thing that I mentioned was just that Magic showed in his eyes and in his facial expressions his concern at the time. He's their leader. They all watch him. I just said, hang in there. Don't let your face show. This was during the one and four, two and five start. Magic was sulking. He was unhappy about the system. Things were not working at the time for the Lakers. Magic just wanted to win. That's all. Devots. So Vladi Devots, who has had another solid performance, has tied it at 78. Devots with 14 points. Just under eight minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Devots jumping out on Jordan. And the foul. It is a block charge to Worthy. Worthy trying to help out. Michael Jordan is playing with four fouls. Scotty Pippen picked up his fifth. He is sitting down. Lakers in good shape in terms of fouls. No one has as many as three. Here's Byron Scott returning. Bill Jackson has Grant with Purdue and Levingston up front. Jordan and now Hodges at the guards. Here's Jordan. Tough angle shot. And the Bulls get the new 24. Chicago hanging around those offensive boards, getting themselves extra shot opportunities. And the reach-in foul call. Jordan backing Scott down, makes the move, and on the attempted swipe, there's the foul by Scott. And it is ruled a non-shooting affair. Livingston will throw in. Chicago's tempo has changed here in the second half. But they are in the midst of a burst. And Jordan rejected. AC Green back on the floor for the Lakers. Magic. Magic Johnson, after the slow start, has come on strong. He now has 17 points and 10 assists. 
timeout taken timeout. by the Bulls. 6.53 to go in the fourth. It's the Lakers 80 and the Bulls 78 as you watch Magic hitting off glass. The great thing about Divots is the interaction between the other team members of Vlade. He's ready to receive and accept whatever they tell him. Let's go over to Ahmad on the sidelines. Mike, during that last time out, Coach Phil Jackson said he didn't want the game to swing away from him, so they're bringing in an offensive player. Scotty Pippen will now enter the game. He's also concerned about that congestion underneath the board. He wants better spacing by his big people. Bob? All right, Ahmad. And this capacity crowd. Reacting as the Chicago Bulls broke the huddle, step back on. Scotty Pippen has checked back in, playing with the five fouls. Bill Cartwright has returned. Here's Jordan. Yes. The game is tied at 80 with six minutes and 40 seconds to go in the fourth. In these last seven minutes of the fourth quarter, we'll try and keep an eye on how many times Michael Jordan is involved with the basketball and making the final decision with it, whether to shoot or pass off in the end. Oh, nice move by Worthy. Came up hobbling after hitting on the baseline drive. 22 points for Worthy. Looking a bit on the Gimpy side. Lakers lead at 82. 80. Michael Jordan now has 31 points and 11 assists. Good play by Worthy to break up the pass. Patrick Johnson already has hit triple-double figures. 17 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. A.C. Green was wide open. But perhaps a little sign right here. Michael Jordan has been taken off of Magic. He's overplaying Byron Scott. They have Hodges playing Magic. Fatigue perhaps setting in. Well, we saw Michael ask out, ask for the early rest in the third quarter. Up, oh, but they're right back again. Jordan on Magic. Magic directing traffic, moving Green down low. And the foul is called. Jack Madden with the indication. It is on Jordan. That is number five. As Worthy finishes, he still has a real bad problem with that ankle as he goes back down the floor. Then he turns right around and comes from behind on Pippen to force the turnover. Now here is the risk factor in matching Michael Jordan against Magic Johnson, but he is the Bulls' best defender. And we'll have to see as this series develops if Phil Jackson changes up on that matchup. Michael Jordan, a member of the all-defensive team four years, voted the best defensive player one year. Got to put somebody good on Magic to stop him. However, he is now facing five minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter with five fouls, as is Scottie Pippen. Lakers with a four-point lead. Jordan changed his mind and found Grant. He was able to hang and extend in midair giving himself enough time to deliver the ball to Horace Grant. Lakers with a two-point lead. Just under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It is game one of the best of seven NBA championship series. Shot clock to three. And Grant able to come away with it. the great ability once he gets in the air to understand and know where his teammates are and then make that split decision at the end leading to score. Scott, rather than trying to extend and block it, tries to get Jordan on the way up. Basket's good and a chance for the three-point play. So Byron Scott collects his fourth foul. Timeout taken. The game tied at 84. Marty Jordan may have had its effects on Byron Scott. He's only one for four in this game so far. He tries to swipe it before Jordan can get the ball up over his head, knowing that Michael's a little too big and elevates too well. Michael certainly loves it. Well, Magic Johnson started in low-key fashion in the first half and has come on big in the second for a triple-double. 
It's been a very consistent, solid game for Michael Jordan. 33 points, 12 assists, 8 rebounds, 3 steals. Bulls and Lakers tied at 84, and Jordan to the line looking to complete the three-point play. Lakers and Bulls each with three timeouts remaining. Let's go over to Steve Jones. All right, Mark, the strategy for the Los Angeles Lakers will be to try to foul out Michael Jordan. They'll try to do it by posting up Magic Johnson. Pippen's also got five fouls as well. All right, Steve. Lakers with the ball, trailing by one. Grant poking it away. And less touched by Worthy, who is very upset. James Worthy felt it was deflected by Grant. He never touched it again. Jack Madden said, no, nah, you got him right at the last second. Bulls by one with just under four minutes to go. In the fourth, Paxson for three. And Devots with his 13th rebound. An excellent job of boxing out that time by the Lakers. They each had their man sealed off from that rebounding triangle. Stole game number one in the series against Portland and went on to win it six. Three-point attempt by Worthy. Evots hit the deck. Loose ball foul has been called. It's on Cartwright on the push-out. That is his third personal. Talking about stealing games in the playoffs thus far. 28 games. Game one has been stolen five times by the visitors. Game two, four times. Devots had slipped inside that time, got the inside position, caught right, knew it, committed the foul. Bulls going over. Levitt with that foul. Lakers with four team fouls. Devots five for five from the line. He is a 70% free throw shooter. What is so impressive about Vladi Devots, particularly with a guy like Magic Johnson firing those passes right on target is that he catches the ball so well. You associate the skill players with the point guard, two guard, small forward position. Guys who can dribble, pass, have the great hands. Not the case with Devots, a center who can do all those things. Lakers by one. Jordan stopped on the reverse. And he'll go back to the foul line. Devots picking up his third. If you're going to let Jordan go to the baseline, you must seal it off. Try to keep him behind the backboard. He loves coming up and under on the other side to try and finish the playoff. Lakers now over the foul of it. Jordan, five for seven from the line. Lakers to the line 30 times. The Bulls taking only their 15th free throw. Bulls and Lakers tied at 86 with 314 left in the fourth. You keep an eye on the outside. The Lakers match up with Chicago's people because the Bulls run a little free throw play where they try to get the ball back on missed free throws. See Worthy face guarding Grant outside. That's so he doesn't slip in in case there's a miss. Chicago has taken a one-point lead. Jordan and Pippen with five fouls apiece. Scott has four. He's the only Laker in difficulty. We're down to three minutes to go in the fourth. Shot clock at six. Here's Worthy. That's a two-point attempt. And it will be Chicago possession. What the Bulls have done so effectively with their two key guys having five personal fouls is get the ball out of Magic's hands, getting it over to another player who has to then make a decision or get him into the half-court offense. They've got to get a better attack position for the Lakers. Pippen off the dribble. Yes. The jump shot has not been falling for Scotty Pippen, but it did at an opportune time right there. And he's given the Bulls an 89-86 lead as the Lakers have called for time. 2.33 to go. 
in the fourth. Here in Chicago, as always, the decibel level shatters the meter. And they have enjoyed what they've seen here thus far this afternoon. A timeout rundown. Bulls three left. Lakers two. Both clubs over the foul limit. 2.34 to go in the fourth quarter. And the Chicago Bulls lead the Los Angeles Lakers 89 86 in game one of the best of seven NBA final. Magic Johnson moving against Michael Jordan. Grant comes over. Perkins and Grant battling for position. Shot clock. Down to five. Here's Perkins. Yes. And the Chicago lead is one. And in the last four possessions, that's the first decent shot that the Lakers have gotten off. Even that one was a difficult one, but he got a clean look at the end. Just under two minutes left in the fourth. Now Scott trying to hand check Jordan. Here is Paxson. And Debox able to get to it. And that's where the other players on the Bulls must answer the challenge. If they're going to take Michael out of it by double teaming, you've got to knock out the open shots. Patrick Johnson trapped, called for the timeout. A minute. And 37 remaining in the fourth. The Lakers are down to one timeout left. Welcome back to the Windy City. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones. Minute 37 left in the fourth. It will be Laker ball as we resume. The Bulls by one. Lakers down to one timeout left. Good timeout, bad timeout for Mike Dunleavy. A must timeout. When Magic came over the half court line, he was trapped. The remaining players on the Lakers were not in a good receiving position. Ma Magic basically said, I'd rather have the timeout used up and get a good shot at this thing than give up the ball and the turnover. So the Lakers down to one timeout left. Chicago with three. Shot clock at five. Shot clock at three. Here's Perkins getting inside, and he was fouled. Cartwright went for the fake, and Perkins will go to the line. James Worthy must be in a position to receive the ball and shoot. That's what's happening with the clock at four or five seconds. Most times, Magic's dumping off to him. They save it right here at the end by finding Perkins underneath. Magic basically knows they lucked out and got that one off just before the 24-second violation. Sam Perkins only two out of four from the line today, 82% on the season. And he has tied the game at 89. 19 for Perkins, who has come up strong once again. Had a big one against Portland Thursday. Game six with the Lakers wrapping it. He hit 10 of 14, 26 points. 22 left in the fourth. Too strong. Rebounded by Pippen. The Bulls and the Lakers tied at 89. Pippen played by Perkins. Changed his mind. Shot clock at six. Here's Pippen. And the foul called on the Lakers. It's Devox picking up his fourth. Both clubs are over the limit. So with a minute two remaining in this fourth quarter, it will be Scotty Pippen to the free throw line. Chicago has nine more field goals made than the Lakers do. But the Lakers up to this point have taken 32 free throw attempts to only 16 for Chicago. The difference at the line right now, keeping the Lakers right in the game with Chicago. Pippen is four for six from the line. He has not been a consistent free throw shooter, although he has improved in, in recent years, up to 71% for the season. Clutch foul shooting by Scottie Pippen. And it's the Bulls, 91. The Lakers, 89. Just under one minute remaining in the fourth. Again, they double up. Cartwright jumping out to help on Johnson. Devox. Rebounded by Grant. Chicago ball with 
40 seconds to go in the fourth. You say, hey, the Lakers got a good look at the basket and a good shot, but it's maybe not what they wanted to go to. It's what they had to wind up taking. Five on the 24, Jordan. And Perkins rebounds. Lakers spending their final timeout. 23 and 5, 10 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. The Bulls lead the Lakers, 91-89, and it will be Los Angeles ball following this timeout. Well, game two of this best of seven back here at Chicago Stadium on Wednesday night, and we'll be on hand starting 9 o'clock Eastern time on NBC. Michael and Magic continuing on. Michael Jordan, the high man, with 36 points, along with 12 assists, 8 rebounds, 3 steals. Magic Johnson, after the slow start, not looking for shots in the first half, and Michael Jordan's defensive work certainly had something to do with that, but Magic came on in particular in the third quarter, hit two from downtown, hit, hit a... A wild shot as the 24-second buzzer went off, and uh, Magic has come up with a triple-double, 19 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. If you're in the Laker huddle right now, there's a number of things that could be going on. You're saying that your main go-to guys are Magic and Worthy. Some problems there. Magic gets double-teamed right away by Chicago. Worthy, lacking that mobility with the bad ankle, has been forced to settling for perimeter jump shots, not making them recently. As a result, you may wind up with either Perkins or a Scott or a Byron Scott spotting up as the key guy down the stretch. The other thing is, since you are such an outstanding three-point shooting team, a number of guys who can step out there, do you go for the tie or do you try to win it on the road with a three-pointer at the end? We were discussing Byron Scott earlier and the fact that he would be occupied and could be affected by going up against Michael Jordan. And Byron Scott, who has had a good playoff and has bounced back from a couple of injury plague seasons, only one for four from the floor this afternoon so he has had his hands full going up against Jordan one for four only eight points coming into this game almost 16 points in the playoffs shooting 54 percent let's go over to Steve Jones all right Barb the Los Angeles Lakers are going to go with Worthy and Magic Johnson down on the box they're going to try to go through Sam Perkins we'll see if they can execute the play all right Steve reporting from just outside that Laker huddle Bulls by two, 23, 5, 10 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The Bulls wanted to take a look at what the Lakers were setting up, and they, after checking it out, have called for a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. And I think what we're talking about here is when we say they wanted to go through Perkins to post up either Magic or Worthy, they're talking about making Perkins the feeder, the guy on the outside that's going to throw the pass down into the hole. If you back off him, he's a good perimeter shooter, a guy who can knock out a three-point shot. He must make a good decision and a good pass into either guy on the low block. Magic checking out with the referee, Hugh Evans. Which side of the floor do we have to take the basketball on, or can we switch it over to the other side if we so desire? The Chicago Bulls talking it over defensively. Statistically, they are the top defensive team in the playoffs over the last 10 years. They have held opponents to 92 points per game. And what Magic just wanted to clear up there is, okay, we got the ball on that side of the floor, but let's everybody agree on this. We must pass the ball into the front court, not the back court. Since we have it up here, now we have to advance here. Let's just clear that up, everybody. The Lakers do not have any timeouts remaining. The Bulls with two left. The Lakers seeking to steal a game here in Chicago. Games one and two at Chicago Stadium. And then back to Los Angeles. The scene will shift to L.A. for game three next Friday night. Kind of interesting. What the Lakers were trying to do is they wanted to take the ball back down on the 
baseline so that Magic could bring it up off the dribble and get into the play. Once you've advanced it, you may not put it back on the baseline again. So that's what they were trying to clear up as well. Terry Teagle has been inserted, and he will throw it in. Mike Dunleavy going with the shooters. Teagle, Scott, Perkins, Worthy, and Johnson. Bulls by two. You see the clock running down. And Perkins goes for three. He's got it. He went for the shot from downtown to take the lead. The Lakers with a 92-91 lead with 14 seconds remaining in the fourth. And the Bulls call for time. Knowing that they weren't going to be able to get it to Magic directly, they inbounded it to Scott. Let Magic come behind and take the handoff. As soon as he makes his move to back Jordan down, he fires it across the floor to Perkins, who spotted up for the three. He knocked one out early in the game, but none bigger than that one. Taking a look from the other side now, Magic looking across the floor. He sees the rotation taking place by Cartwright, catches the balls in the middle of their rotation, and fires it to the open man. A good extension by Grant trying to challenge it, but that thing just gets over the top, knocks it down, and Perkins thanks his teammate. He loves it. Sam Perkins has hit three out of four from downtown. During the course of the season, Sam 18 for 64, 28% from three-point land. And the Lakers now lead it by the score of 92 to 91 with 14 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Well, today's Miller Genuine Draft Player of the Game, Michael Jordan. And on behalf of Michael, NBC, and Miller Genuine Draft will donate $1,000 to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. A terrific all-around performance by Jordan, who got to it early. 15 points in the first quarter. 13 in the fourth. He's come on late for 36, along with 12 assists, 8 rebounds, and 3 steals. That third quarter seemed to be the period where Jordan asked to be taken out, needed that second win. He worked so hard in the first half at both ends of the floor, caught up to him a little bit there in the third quarter, but he finishes strong once he regroups. And the Lakers with a very strong effort here in game one. Perkins connecting on the three-point field goal to give the Lakers a one-point lead. Sam Perkins now has 22 points. Scotty Pippen will throw it in. Jack Madden making certain that Pippen is given the room. Bulls have one timeout left. And, and L.A. takes a delay of game right there. What they tried to do is, since they had one to use up, Worthy ran right up to the basketball close, forced it so his teammates could get a look at the play and see what they were trying to run. This has become a very popular tactic this season. Here's Jordan. And let's see what the call is. The officials checking it over. And the outside referee, Hugh Hollins, had the better look. He says last touch by the Lakers. It will be Chicago ball. And the Bulls take their final timeout. You're talking about four of the Laker teammates running towards Jordan as he tries to make his move baseline, not giving him a clear look at the basket. Five seconds going by. The Bulls down to nine seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Well, tonight, don't miss the heartwarming family special, Our Shining Moment, starring Don Amici. And then Who Wants to Buy Pebble Beach and Why? Expose uncovers the, the mystery of the billion-dollar deal. And then on Real Life with Jane Pauley, followed by an NBC world premiere movie, Murder in High Places. That's tonight right here on NBC. Well, both the Lakers and the Bulls do not have any timeouts remaining. The Lakers, by virtue of a three-point shot by Sam Perkins, leading the Bulls 92-91. With under five seconds, four seconds remaining in this situation, you can talk about a lot of switching defensively. With nine seconds to go, it gives 
Jordan, if he gets the ball in his hands, plenty of opportunity to take advantage of the switch and then beat the wrong person off the dribble. High-point man of the game, Jordan, 36. Pippen with 19. Both have been in foul trouble. They both have five. They are the only Bulls in double figures. The Lakers, led by Worthy with 22. Perkins also has 22. Magic, 19. Devon, 16. It has been close right throughout. Lakers at one stretch, led by seven. Bulls by four. You see the 26 changes of the lead, and this again that was tied on 14 occasions. Well, the tempo and the style of play by both teams, good aggressive defensive team, good half-court execution, keeps both teams close. All right, let's see what's going on at the Bulls bench. Let's go over to Ahmad. Ahmad, as you would expect, they're going to set up their three shooters in Paxson, Jordan, and Pippen. Paxson could either be the shooter or the decoy. Jordan coming from the bottom of the court. Back to you. All right, Ahmad, Paxson is lined up out deep straight away, top of the circle. Scott checking him out. Nine seconds remaining. Pippen will throw it in. Jordan is down in the paint, being guarded by Worthy. Pippen must get it in. He does. And here is Jordan. Three seconds remaining. And let's see what the call is. Jordan rimming the basket, the foul against Chicago. It's on Paxson. Now they have changed the clock, two and seven tenth seconds left. Byron Scott took a shot in the cheek, and the Lakers will go to the line. Jordan got a real good look. That ball is halfway in and back out, and you could see the disappointment in Jordan's face after the ball was rebounded by the Lakers. He knows that he had it right there. He got as good a look as you're going to get in the ending of a game. The thing was in and back out again. Two and seven tenth seconds. Remaining in the fourth quarter, Byron Scott to the line. He's six for six this afternoon. Just under 80% for the season. You saw 83 during the playoffs. One point, Laker lead. Right after this shot attempt, Jordan knows that he had it. He's not going to get much better chance. Disappointed in the fact that it rolled out. Right now, after this free throw attempt, no timeouts left. The Lakers need to jam the guy who takes it out so he doesn't get a chance to see on the long pass. Two-point Laker lead. Cartwright will toss it in. Here's Pippen from center court. He fires it. And he hit the back of the rim. And that is it. The Los Angeles Lakers steal game one from the Chicago Bulls. They have defeated the Bulls 93 to 91 despite the exploits of Michael Jordan. The Lakers do it off the three-pointer by Sam Perkins. That's the game winner. Then Byron Scott hit one of two from the free throw line for the final point. Here's Pippen. He got off a shot that was right on target that went strong off the back of the rim, and that is how it concludes. The Los Angeles Lakers, 93, and the Chicago Bulls, 91. So the Bulls, who had won 15 straight home playoff games, see that streak conclude, and they're looking now to get back into the series with a victory Wednesday night. We'll be on the air starting at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Mark Rashad, Steve Jones saying so long. From Chicago, this is the NBA on NBC.